Blog Talk Radio. Hey guys, this is Those Guys with your host, Matt Marrero. And your other host, Tristan Walter. And we have a lot to talk about. So yes, here we, we are. It's been a while. A little bit. You know, I got to be honest, man. Africa really put a dent in Dragon Ball Super for us. It feels like All it's right? been a whole training arc already. Yeah, right. We, That's how we can measure time arc. with this, Matt. Yes. No, it's been a whole Africa ago. <laughs> no, because it's been a whole semester since... Because you went to, to Africa for a semester, right? We don't... Like, we're not yeah. joking. That happened. So because of that... <clears throat> We weren't able to do Battle of Gods, the rest of that, yeah. and then in turn, most of this. So we're going to try and catch up with Super over the next two months, but uh, right now we're doing episodes 19 to 27, right? That, you know, involves this, um, the Golden Frieza arc, or just the Frieza arc, the Resurrection of F arc, you know? And, um, the Resurrection yeah, of I, Movie Arc! Basically, because you thought <laughs> Battle of Gods was it. And then one to two episodes later, it's just resurrection of movies. <laughs> but um, so how did you feel about this compared to the actual film? Uh, see, it's it's kind of hard for me because I mean I obviously like both, but mm-hmm. I can't I can't decide like which. I mean, per se, would, was better overall. I think, Yeah. I mean, each kind of does its own little cool things here and there, and that that's what kind of makes it hard to distinguish, like, which one I prefer, per se. I agree. Um, because even though I'm going to put it and say, yeah, put my decision on the show, right, versus the movie, for once, at the same time, the movie did action scenes very, very well. A lot better, I think, compared to this version. You know, because when you look at the Battle of Gods, I do think that the show uh, version of it, the super version, oh god, the super version, the Dragon Ball super (laughs) version, definitely delivered in terms of action. And in ways, I think that some of the action looks pretty cool too, because we had some weird 3D stuff going on in the Battle of Gods film. But here, I think Resurrection of F really, you know, uh, did very well in that regard and made everyone look good. Where, you know, you look at the um, at the show's version of uh, Resurrection of F and sadly, or Revival of F, whatever you might choose, or Fukatsu no F, the point is, is that they didn't, in my opinion, make everyone look good when they had to fight Frieza's army. It right. was kind of just a random little, like, yeah, let's do a couple, like, punches. Oh, let's move on to other shit. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so uh, basically I have some stuff going on in the background. And, um, you know, I have Super going on in the background. And just want to mention, it is extremely heartbreaking to where she's like, I'm going to destroy the Earth. And we just see everyone yeah. doing stuff. That yeah. was, this is literally the saddest thing I've ever seen. Like, I mean, I mean, oh my, oh my God. Okay, we just see Bulma's parents. Yep. Just oh, like, yeah, that hey, was the dear. worst part of it. They just, like, was... turn and see it coming. It's like, well, to be fair, it wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, that seems funny. I, I'm sure they did that for comedic relief, but, like, just seeing, like, hey, it's me, Videl, with my baby, who is also a baby. And it's like, oh, no. Who's also dead now. Uh, well, about to be. Yeah. Um, no, especially, I love that like, apparently going... Tommy's tower got caught. Yeah. I mean, it technically would eventually. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm sorry. It's just it's on you right now, and I'm just trying not to laugh because literally everyone's in a bubble, and they're just like, we may have fucked this up somehow. <laughs> our our families are dead. They are all dead. My God. <laughs> yeah, that was, There's a that was awful. That this, yeah. Good God. Um Everyone just oh, and turns even, over and looks at Goku. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, God. I love Jacko. You know, this may have been my job somehow. 
like he could have done anything to stop it. No, the only thing he could have done was blow it up sooner. No, but it's under his jurisdiction. And of course, yeah, the missiles. But yeah. um, no, but it's under his jurisdiction, so it's great. It's just like I kind of feel like this is my fault, but I'm not really going to say it because nobody else is. But at the same time, what the hell could I have done differently? Right. Uh, what's interesting is the movie kept some stuff that I was hoping they would get rid of. Right, and I never thought that I would say that because in Battle of Gods, I was like, keep it all the same, just just re-air the movie. In this case, though, I was like, hey, if you're gonna get rid of that Saiyan destroying gun, I'm totally cool with that, brah. Although mm. they changed the scene, if you yes. noticed, Goku yes. powers down, mm-hmm. so now it kind of makes more sense that it would have hurt him a lot more than it actually did. Yes, because. And they didn't even explain it away, what it was. They were just like, we had a contingency plan. So even though that was the one case where they didn't really, like, go in and give you more in-depth analysis, it was better because literally it's just like, I hear is my god killer gun. It <laughs> kills gods. If it hit Krillin, he actually wouldn't die. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I mean, you know? okay, to be fair, yes. It makes a lot more sense that when Goku powered down, he would be vulnerable mm-hmm. to being shot. Yeah. I mean, I still like the scene in both cases as it's the sense of, you know, okay, it kind of conflicts with the idea that he's a god technically, I guess. But at mm. the same time, it's like character-wise and, you know, take-home lesson-wise, moral of the story, it's like, yeah, you still have limits. You're not yes. immortal. Don't, you know, don't dick around in a fight, especially when your opponent is one who will do anything necessary to see you dead. Yes, most definitely. Um, one thing I want to mention, by the way, is uh, I'm actually, so I'm happy we got to see some more pilaf. Yeah. Um, but I was hoping for <laughs> even more because, like, I, again, you know, I didn't, it's funny, right? The reason why I bring it up is because I think the fact that we didn't really have Jacko fight as much and we needed some comic relief, it would have been real nice if Pilaf was there to be some more comic relief because, you know, we we only really had Jacko in my opinion. And it really yeah. hurt his character a lot. Yeah, I mean, he felt completely different from the movie. Not completely, because it was just his character, but extended to fit in. What I mean is, he can he can be the whole, like, look, I want to run away, man. Hey, let me take some pictures. He was very much, um, he was very brazen and bold, right? The problem is that yeah. we have to fill, like, seven episodes with that. Yeah. You know, that's what's, or eight episodes. That's what's going to happen. If you get to the point where, like, every five seconds, it's like, can I run now? No. Oh, God, Bulma's worse than Frieza, which was funny, actually. Um, <laughs> yeah. But it's going to be, yeah, but then it's, it's going to turn into, hey, um, can you have me take a picture with Beerus? No. Mm-hmm. You ask him yourself. And he'll like, kill what you. What are you, a fucking now, tourist? Yeah. Well, it's funny. It's like literally he's just that I kid mean, that wants to take selfies. Is, but... Oh, God. Yeah. No, that's what basically it turned into. Just can you help me take a picture with Beerus? Um, I mean, but, I don't yeah. know. To me, he just felt different in the sense, like, okay, in the movie, like, he did, you did see scenes of him fighting, and it was Mm -hmm. interesting. And no, he's not taking on anyone super powerful or anything like that. He's taking on, you know, the Frieza grunts, but it was still cool to see him in action. And I feel like in this, you know, the the anime and the episodes, they kind of take that away from him and basically make him strictly more just comic relief. Yeah, which sucks. He's... In the movie, he's still like, yeah, I'm getting the hell out of here. But it's it's kind of more, I don't know. Maybe it was, maybe I'd have to see it like, you know, Japanese versus English or something. But he just seemed like, because I saw it in theaters in English, to be fair. But he just seemed mm-hmm. more like sassy, in a way. Like his no, character, he like he was still too, kind of cowardly. But he, he never act, he never said it. He never portrayed it in a cowardly way um just like, and again no nah, yeah. see you guys later i'm out this ain't my job <laughs> yeah okay fair enough um i and think I, that I he had a little like bit of that in better. the beginning 
I yeah. think he had it in the beginning because literally he was just like, listen, Bulma, listen, you two children. Right. Yeah. But then as time went on, it's just like, again, you have to fill time with comic relief. So then right. he just becomes the guy that like every five seconds, just I'm going to take off right now. Not JK, yeah. but right now. Oh, no. What? You know who would have been really good for that? Where's yeah. Yajirobe when we need him? <laughs> Yajirobe or Yamcha? Like you include the you include you include a uh, Goten and Trunks, right? I see no reason why you couldn't have just thrown in Yamcha just to stand around. If you were only yeah. going to give them like five seconds, or like not five seconds, but like literally maybe like ten minutes worth of fight time or less, and not right. really focus on it in the way that you did in the film. If you're and by the way, I'm cool with it in the sense that like we only got eight episodes, we could have had a lot more and it would have been worse. But right. Still, yeah. like if that's what you're going to cut out. I will admit, it did make everyone look worse, you know? Yeah. Um, still, if you're going to only do that, just to throw in Yamcha. Just to, you know, right. I know like he hasn't been training, but you didn't even mention Yamcha. Yeah. Like, at least I'm you glad. mentioned T- Tien. You mentioned Pua. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, he, he still... I, I'm glad Tien still mentioned Shoutsu. I mean, to be fair, I think I'm sorry, Shoutsu, right. Him, I'm tired. To be fair, yeah. I feel like he's still not giving Shoutsu enough credit. I think he could have definitely taken on some of those Frieza soldiers, but um, I do like how uh, 18's dialogue is a little more clear, I guess you could say. Yeah. Like how you would basically, when we talked about the movie the last time and I had brought up, you know, about her staying behind, it's like she totally could have kicked ass, but you're like, dude, no, she's there to protect their child. It's like, now mm-hmm. they actually said that in the dialogue. I'm like, okay, that it makes the scene better in my opinion. Yes. Um, but he's like, uh, one no, thing I want to say, you know, say. stay here with the kid. That's what's most important. <laughs> yes. Another thing too is that you know, thinking that they would expand on a few things, I thought that maybe Freeze's men would have tried to get into the city, and you would have had people like Chi Chi or well, you know, she's not in the city per se, but you'd have people like Chi Chi and Android 18 to try and fight them. And before, it's just like, yeah. Matt, Chi-Chi, really? Roshi fought them. Yeah. And I doubt Roshi's been training that much. I mean... Um, I don't know. Like, maybe he has, but whenever we see Roshi, he's just chilling with a dirty mag. Yeah, he's usually just chilling, yeah. yeah. Um, what he did mention, though, is, I think, which was interesting, the fact that people have seen these fights the way that they have, and they've tried to track them, it's as if they could add on to their own fighting ability. That's why, like, I'm not saying that, you know, like, in no way am I saying something like, oh, yeah, you know, even, like, the kids could have done it. Like, not, like, Goten and Trunks kids, but, like, you know, like, Marin. Like, no, she has not been anywhere near the action. But she, yeah. she has had martial arts experience, and she's seen a few fights. I feel like she could have taken on, like, a grunt. Even Hercule and yeah. Boo. Yeah. Oh, I love... <laughs> I love and hate the explanation they gave for Boo because it's like, yes. huh, that's that's actually pretty legit. I mean, I hate him yeah, for no, it, yeah. but no, that that makes sense. Motherfucker was asleep on the couch. <laughs> that figures yeah, no, as you, much. Yes, because you do sit around and you're like, why is there no Majin Boo? Like, why is yeah. he not here? You know, like there were a few people missing. But again, Yamcha, you assume he just hasn't been training. So they didn't fucking call. Yeah. I mean, but, ever since the Boo saga, when he kind of backed away, I could see Yamcha not showing up, I guess. Yeah. Um, but again, it would have been nice to have seen people try to, you know, like random soldiers try to raid a village if he's like chilling somewhere, you know, remote. It's just like, not today. Yeah. You know, that would have been nice. But, yeah, you know, we got what we got, which was no supporting characters. Literally five lines each. <clears throat> Maybe some more if you were comic relief. Yeah. And but, I found yeah, it interesting what? how they kind of played uh, played Krillin's character differently in this as, a, mm-hmm. as opposed to the movie. Whereas in the movie, he was completely confident in his ability. And it's like, yeah, I can't fight Frieza. I can take on these losers. I know that much. But in this, like, it's interesting. I'm... I like the fact that they explored Krillin in the sense like, yeah, this is the guy who blew me into a million bits. Of course I'm not really happy to be here right now. But at the same time, 
he's been through a lot since then, and I mean, I feel like he's kind of battle hardened enough that that really wouldn't affect him as much, like yes. they kind of portrayed uh, yeah. in the movie. Like, I agree. He's um, kind of used to it by yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, I feel like such a jerk because I, I, for a split second, I was like, "Is that the first time Krillin died?" Because I would have been like, "You never forget your first time." But no, no, he died before. Um, yeah. So yeah, no. In all seriousness. I like that they explored that because that is definitely something that people do go through regardless of, you know, like, you know, there are certain like triggers and things like that. Like people do have, and clearly the guy that killed you would be the clear one. Um, So it makes sense. However, I'm not a big fan of it happening, but I, I, it made sense though. Yeah. Like I get why they did it, but at the same time, Mm -hmm. it's like, Against the soldiers, I really don't think Krillin... Like, if Frieza himself teleported in front of Krillin, then I could mm-hmm. see him pissing his pants. Yes. But, um, as, yes. you know, also, the soldiers, it's like, you teamed up with Gohan and turned two of them into pinballs, you know? I really mm-hmm. don't think you'd be afraid of them. Yeah. Uh, Piccolo is the best dad and granddad. Oh, my God. <laughs> All <laughs> right, with Pan. <laughs> yes. And then dad later with Gohan. He's just the best everything. Um, uh, yeah, are you sure know, you can I handle know. him on your own? Yeah, I'm an adult now. Oh, God! Oh, God, why? Shouldn't have let him cross the street. <laughs> Say, like, Gohan, why? Blit. Oh, oh, my God. I can't believe I don't blame they you, did that. But I blame you. <laughs> it's um, not your fault, but it is. <laughs> Oh my god. You, you didn't physically kill me. But at the same time Oh my god, Gohan. <laughs> um I'm just thinking about it like just good god. Um oh, I loved going way back to nineteen, right? When literally Frieza's own army was like, Frieza will get us seventy percent of the universe and I'm like, What's the other thirty percent that you can't <laughs> capture? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I the mean, Earth, Kai's, and I don't think Beerus' area counts as part of the universe. I guess if it does, then maybe that's the 30%. That's literally three places. But, like, I'm sitting I around guess. and I'm like, what 30% are you, can't you not? Like, I don't know. To me, it's just like Frieza. Like, I know that there has to be, you know, eviler, eviler, more evil in this eviler. gallery. <laughs> yeah. Eviler. But it's just funny. Like, we haven't seen it. I assumed that Boo was the most evil, and he's gone. Mm. So I'm sitting in a way. So I'm sitting here, and I'm like, what 30% can't you get? Why is there a 30% that you're like, listen, all right, this Frieza guy is the best thing in the world. He was amazing for us back in the day. He can lead us to prosperity, but only 70% worth. Yeah. You know? But, hey, going from zero to 70% is still good. (laughs) That's true, that's true. Oh, my God. Oh, another person who became sassy, because we mentioned, you know, Jacko being sassy. Shenron has become so sassy over the years. <laughs> yeah. Like, nearly no one has ever collected the Dragon Balls until about 20 years ago. And they've been doing it so much ever since. He's just pissed. Yeah. It's just like, I'm trying to sleep here, guys. Like, uh, yeah. you know, this isn't a thing that's supposed to happen every year. No, this is supposed to be like, you know, maybe once in a generation. Can we just go back to that? Okay, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Although, um, I mean, it's also like, he he is he is a dragon. I mean, granted, King Piccolo blew him up, so he might not necessarily be the most powerful being in the universe. But, I mean, if he really want to, he could still kill you. Yes, depending you know, on who you like, are, yes. Stop your it's heart. Like, you know, it's like, you know that wish you wanted? Yeah, I could use that to, you know, zap you right now. All I have to do yeah. is look at you and lightning will rain down on you. You might want to show the wishing dragon a little respect. Or I could just be like, yeah, no, nah, I'm not granting your wishes. Bye. You want to know something amazing? So <laughs> speaking of wishes, he, in his, yeah. he mentioned, oh, certain wishes mean more than others, which I think was a really weird thing to bring up. But the reason why I liked it, though, is because it literally led to that joke right after where literally um, uh, one of them wishes for money, one of, you know, Pilaf's crew. 
And because the money was so worthless, he just gave Mai a side order of ice cream. Right. Well, no, she makes the third wish for the ice cream. No, but there's only two wishes. It's the it's the Earth Dragon, not the Namekian Dragon. Um. Um. Well, uh, mm. No, okay, it's only I mean, two wishes. No, I know, I know it's two. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. No, but because literally, Dragon was like, "Oh, some wishes are more valuable than others. You know, some right. are a bit bigger on the pay scale, on the wish scale." So literally, they were yeah. like, "Hey, can you bring Frieza's remains here?" And that was wish one. Then yes, Chu was, was really like, one. "I want money. My, I right. want ice cream." Honestly, you get both. Right. Okay. And I was like, "Good God! Like that's so horrible. Certain wishes mean more than others." Literally, here's your ice cream, You're, and you know what? Here's some ice on the side. That's how little your wish meant to me. Yeah, your wish is so worthless, I'll give you two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but That's it was, how it felt, and I laughed so hard. It's horrible that I feel so bad for, like, a previous villain who want, you know, who basically wants world domination, but he's just so pathetic at this point. It's like, just just give him the money. I mean, they they went through a lot to try and collect those Dragon Balls. They really did. I actually felt bad, like, with Mai. She's like, I don't want to hand it over. We went through a lot to get these. He's like, I know, but they'll kill us right now if we're greedy. It's funny because that's true. You know, they um, they went through a lot to get them. They used to want world domination. But here's the thing, right? When you look at the, like, the, the, the um, I guess, a bigger scale, right? You look at just everything in in scale to what's happened over the years. World domination is pretty relaxed at this point. Like, I don't I mean, even think yeah. they even said that Pilaf killed anyone other than the people that he wanted to kill in the, you know, main cast right. of Dragon Ball. So imagine that, literally just him sitting around like, yeah, you know, I want to rule everything. But then, of course, again, you get so many people after, like King Piccolo, you end up getting, right. you know, you end up getting uh, the Saiyans, Frieza, yeah. Cell, Boo. Just in comparison, he's just such, he's such a nice guy. He's a great dictator. Oh, yeah. Could you imagine that? Like, just later on in Super, you just see, like, like if we're in the middle of a battle or something across Earth, you just see a newspaper fly by, and it's like a presidential, it's like Pilaf president. Good God. Like, oh, by the way. Like, he really went He really went for that world domination. Just He actually, he's trying to do it legit now. Yes. <laughs> uh, speaking of things that still exist, Ginyu Frog. Oh, my God. Ginyu Frog. Listen, okay? The second that I saw Ginyu Frog, I knew what was going to happen. And I was I didn't know who, but I knew it was going to happen, and I was going to be so hyped because I sat there and thought, how? Like, yeah. I can't believe it. No, it's gotten to the point where the people that are working on Super, they have to be our age. Yeah. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that the people working on Super right now are near our age. Why? Not because it's like, oh, my God, that's something we would think of. We're so cool and smart. We should be working in the industry. Like, no, none of that bullshit. Just the fact that we think of the, in my opinion, funny, but also silly and just outright dumb. Now, not dumb in a bad way, just like, oh, my God, can you imagine? Right? Yeah. So right. the whole, like, can you imagine this thing so much that you can tell from this series with their humor that they're pretty young and silly. You know, yeah. like, they're not sitting there like, oh, no, we mustn't protect the integrity of this show. Like, no, 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 they just sit there, and they're like, so I grew up watching this. I really enjoyed this. You know what we should do? Bring Ginyu back. He's on Earth still, right? He's a frog. He's on Earth, right? <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah no, it's no, the same I just... thing with, um, with Goku jumping through the wall like the fucking Kool-Aid man a while ago. <laughs> and also having, yeah. you remember that? And also him, the whole, like, wah, 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 when it's like, Hercule, punch me. Yeah. I yeah, have like, to make it look shit. like I'm being sent flying away without letting anyone know I can actually fly. Meanwhile, I have to pick up my done. tractor on the way out. <laughs> right, yes. Oh, my God. It was so beautifully done that I'm sitting there, and like, same thing with Ginyu. The fact that they brought back Ginyu, they brought Ginyu back into the fray. Um, they let one character live simply to be turned into... Ginyu. Yeah. And now Ginyu's in hell in someone else's <laughs> body. Ooh. Right. Uh, yeah. Mm, yeah. 
Well, because well, remember, we don't even know mm. if that was his original body, the purple one. That's true. Yeah, I've always wondered that for a while now, maybe like a few years, because it dawned on me one day where it's just like, I, it was one of those like really like funny like meme type things, which is like, yo, if Captain Ginyu can transform, but is that even his original body? Yeah. Oh, like it was one of those things. I mean, I get the feeling it was. I mean, just you the way that. he would speak about himself, I feel like it was. But here's the and funny that, thing, right? If yeah, the person's I mean, body that he's in, if they're enough of an asshole, he could apparently tap into their power. Apparently. Because if he went into Goku's body, right, he would not have right. been able to go God mode because right. he would not have been able to go God or even Super Saiyan. He would probably, well, yeah. I mean, maybe Super Saiyan because compared to no. the vastness of Goku's power now. I mean, yeah. compared to the vastness of Goku's power... I would well, argue Super Saiyan isn't that much to tap into, maybe. I mean, when he was, when he got Goku's body the first time, he couldn't even figure out how to go Kaioken. So, or un- correct to use the technique. That is true. That is true. I mean, um, but again, possibly the transformation yeah. would be a little different, I suppose, because it's technically a transformation, mm-hmm. not a technique per se. But yes. No, no, uh, fair point. The point is, is that he would not be able to go to, to you know, use his full power because Goku's right. heart is pure. Even Vegeta to a certain mm. degree, you know? Yeah. Because Vegeta's gotten it, a bit nicer over the years. I feel like, uh, <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll say that in a second, but I feel like with Ginyu, it's more of like the fighter's mindset. Like, he takes their body, but uh, it's it's how that the fighter fights themselves, and I, I mean, yes. I guess you could no, say yeah, no, it's to have memory, a style like, that's closer to his like, is what I'm saying. Because again, like right, he, he with he the guy the that he in the previous army this time, yeah, it was kind of like similar to how he would be. It's just like yeah, throw it up to the you know power up to the very limit, you know that's it. Yeah. So I'm just I'm that's my point though it's that it's a bit different than if he had gotten into Goku's body. Yeah. Obviously. Yes. Um I do love oh, the fact so, that um yeah. Jocko I think Jocko was talking to Bulma on the sidelines or or uh Goten and Trunks say something to her. It's like do do you know that frog and she's like I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just like oh god mommy um, yeah, they're just like, oh, okay. Trunks is like, is that frog my daddy? <laughs> oh, no, 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 Trunks. Oh. No, Trunks. No, Trunks. Oh. Just literally just... Um, was it? That's why my hair is green. Trunks, get in the car. Oh, my God. Um, uh, oh, I want to mention the flying cherubs. Like those things that were in the afterlife. Right? Yeah. The, the hell. Uh, they look like characters <laughs> from Dr. Slump. And I really want to mention that because it's so okay. interesting because, of course, you know, Dr. Slump, i.e., you know, Kuro Toriyama, right, who wrote right. that and who also kind of wrote that whole Dragon Ball thing that we're watching, uh, who we've been watching for fucking years. Um, so I think it's very interesting to see some of his style, you know, even go into Dragon Ball more so than it already has, obviously. Um, yeah. Oh, I love Frieza's explanation for why he became powerful so quickly. I don't necessarily remember it being in the movie. The explanation being that he sits there and he's like, you know, I've actually never trained. Like, yeah. I li- like, all I did was wake up, and my privilege gave me a million, like, on the power scale. <laughs> a million. A power blocks. level over a million because I'm privileged. Oh, mm-hmm. my God. But, yeah, no, that's, that's legit what true. it is, though. Yeah, no, that's like, true. literally, he just, because of, no, it's, that's what's funny. It's not even a joke, just his royalty. The fact that his yeah. dad is who his dad is, and that their blood is is the way that their blood is. He literally just grew up without lifting a finger, yet his yeah. power level was already there. Right. That's nuts to think about. He never trained. He yeah. would fight, of course, if need be. But most right. of the time, he sat around. He sat in a right. little fucking hover car. Now, finally, he trained just a wee little bit. And Four because months. of his privilege power, yeah, he just fucking went golden immediately. However, yep. as as noted later, both in the movie and in the show, he didn't 
Like he literally powered up and just like a little the little kid that he is inside was like, Oh, this is perfect. Let me go fight them. Not thinking, yeah. what are the limits to my powers? How long can I do this? Right. You know, come up with a better name. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Just just flies right to the planet. You know, I love right how he even mentions that. He's like, mm-hmm. the name isn't everything. <laughs> it might be a bit tacky, but and I was like, hate you yeah. so much. Um, but I just, um, but you, I found it yeah. so ironic that he mm-hmm. turns gold. Like I, I saw for sure in the in the uh, in the anime they would say something like Goku would be like, so gold, huh? He's like, <laughs> I know. Trust me, if I could choose any other color, I would have. Oh, my God. Um, Yeah, it would have made sense, actually. Um, Oh, by the way, love that we got more Goten and Trunks. Or rather, any Goten and Trunks. Yeah. Because I think the biggest issue... Mm -hmm. Like, that's exactly... Like, as soon as... Like, that's exactly how they would have reacted in the movie, too. It's like, unless Chi-Chi was sitting on both of them and had them, like, under lock and key, they would have been like, hey, what's that power level? Let's go see what it is. Like, that's that's what they did in the Majin Buu saga. Of course, that's what they're going to do here. Exactly. And now, to be fair, they did explain in the movie, hey, you know, they, right, are, are gone. We told them, we didn't tell them what's going on. It's just like, yes, because they can't sense power levels. Heck, you don't need to sense power levels. You just see the sky fucking changing. And you're like, yeah, this is too. new. Yes. Yeah. Um, oh, I loved when Gohan was just like, Bulma has a lot of weird friends in reference to Jocko. <laughs> and it was like, yeah. pot calling the kettle black, but you know what, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you're, we'll tra- just... you're standing next to a guy who is completely green and is Namekian from a different planet. And it's like, yeah, all right, sure. Whatever. <laughs> Um, whatever, go oh, on. One thing, you, whatever you say, man. You, you haven't been training, so fuck it. Kill Piccolo. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, speaking of people dying, they did not redo the scene when Krillin died. Like, if you noticed earlier on in Super's run, they were trying to recreate the anime scenes from back in the right. day. But I wonder if they sat there and thought, we're going to include so many now. Let's set a new precedent. Don't remake any of these shits. Yeah. If we're gonna flash, if we're gonna have this many flashbacks, we might as well just reanimate the entire fucking show because we're going to yeah. do it anyway. So I, that's why I think I mean, they sat there, stop doing I, it. No, yeah, well, I kind of like the fact that they've used like the old animation, like older clips. I mean, me too. I'm just saying that in the beginning they like, didn't. Yeah, in the beginning they redid them, but yeah, I feel it's like intriguing. it's just kind of the idea of. Um, you know, oh, look at how far we've come, you know? Yeah. No, I, I, though I think they use the ones from Kai because they look to be touched up a bit. Minus, of course, the grain filter. They look to be a little bit more Possibly. touched up. So yeah. I wonder if they're using the ones from Kai. Because remember, the ones from Kai aren't redone completely. They're just touched up a little bit here and there, and then they're, right. they were released. Um, oh, interesting thing, sound effects. Um, the sound effect they use for Piccolo cracking his neck, and many of them when they crack their necks, I believe, is the yeah. same one they use when they chew sensu beans. I don't know if you noticed that, but, like, it was that crunch. Yeah, I guess you're right, yeah. And I was like, oh, well, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> oh, by the way, it was sad, I think, um, because, like, of course, you know, like, in my opinion, I was like, good God, Gohan's dead when Gohan got hit, right? But then Piccolo, yeah. because he fused with Kami, and I think even with Nail to a certain degree, he right. was, or even in general, I think that, you know, Piccolo has just always been able to transfer energy over. Maybe it's a Namekian thing, right? Yeah. So he, so he transferred his energy to Gohan. I was like, that's so nice. Piccolo dies, and Gohan puts his hand over, and I'm like, not going to work, buddy. Not yeah. going to work. Oh, God. But, um, yes, yeah, so I still, I still cannot believe that Captain Ginyu went into Taguma. I just cannot. Like that, that happened. Oh, by the way. Yeah. So Frieza's game, quote unquote, was beautiful. His in general, like his attitude in general, I think, was better than in the movie because I understand the idea of oh I'll wait, but just the idea like it's very much Frieza like to just go you know what screw this, everyone kill the bald one. If you do, I'll give you a yeah, planet. right. Or 
later on just, you know what? I'll kill you all because the sight of Son Goku seeing his friend dead is just such a wonderful thing to think about. Yeah. Like, you know, it was it was done well in my opinion. Um, sadly though, just... over the course of a few episodes, on and off, we definitely got some weird um animation quality, like it decreased, in my opinion, depending on which one you were looking at. Where it'd be a thing where it's like, oh, Gohan's powering up to try and get Goku to find him. Didn't look as good, right? Or the episode when they were fighting Kaguma didn't look as good. Mm. You know, which sucks because, like, you know, um, that's the one thing I'll say about these last two movies is that even if I didn't like the 3D in Battle of Gods, still looked good. Yeah. Quote, unquote. Like, you know, so it's interesting, I think. But, um, but what were you going to bring up? It, it, I guess it kind of feels like they've been putting effort, like, into more, like, I guess a little more effort into different episodes. Mm-hmm. Yes, most Depending definitely. Depending on who's fighting on screen, it's like, where do we want to shift more of the budget to? <laughs> yes, and, yeah. I, and I understand that because, I mean, listen, yeah. you know, it is very hard to make a weekly animated yeah. series, you know? Like, this, this made, you know... Not the same exact week, but close enough. Yeah. You know? So, um, anyway, what uh, I also want to mention is that it was sadly such a huge tease to just have Gotenks appear and then break up. Yeah. I, yeah. Yes. That, uh, that's the one thing I'll say that was a problem. It's like you brought Gotenks in. I, I know the problem is that he immediately would have went for Frieza, and that would have been problematic. But, again, you could have thrown some soldiers at him. If there was any time to just give fodder soldiers to waste filler time. Right. In my opinion, now would be the time that, to do it. Yeah, because when they started doing filler later during the fights, uh, the fights being the major ones like Vegeta, Goku, and Frieza, I don't think that they were really well done. Mm. Like, that filler seemed to really... Like, of course, we had our standard powering up filler, which I was like, okay, I'm cool with this. This is just this is yeah. tradition. This is Christmas. Right. But... Um, at least for you and I, like that's tradition. So it's just like this is, you know, this comes every, once every year. Um, and it's it's kind of funny. Except every week, you know. I wonder now, with like mm. a lot of the transformation scenes. I mean, I guess Frieza's was a bit more extravagant because it's the first time. Well, quote unquote, the first time you're seeing it, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Although, it's technically the first time you're seeing Goku and Vegeta going. Well, for the term that I use, but Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. <laughs> That's um, actually, I love their explanation of it in here. I don't know if it was a thing, a difference between the sub and the dub, but in the dub, I don't think they had enough time or they they weren't given like a good enough uh, like way to explain like, hey, this is what happens when I power up to the level of a God without people's help and then right. go Super Saiyan. On top of that, yeah. Yes, I love I love the line they gave Frieza. It's like, huh, that was such a mouthful. I almost bit my tongue on it. You think you could, uh, you know, chop that down a few verses, Goku? <laughs> oh my God, yeah, that was like, that was done very well. Yeah, that was great. Um, oh, I love how Goku just leaves dead people at other people's doorsteps. That's great. Oh, poor Dende. He's just like, That's hey, I mean. Piccolo's dead. Can you watch over his corpse for me? Thanks. And Dende's just in tears, like, oh, dear God. Oh, dear me. <laughs> like, if, here's the thing, right? I'll, I'll admit oh. this much, right? I'm, yeah. I am wrong in the sense that, like, I should admit, I'm wrong in the sense that, like, I was making it seem as if he's not the God and he wasn't looking down and he can't see that Frieza's coming. Because clearly yeah. he, see, you know, he sees that. And he saw right. that Piccolo died. But it but has still. to have been – no, no, no. He, he at least knew that he died. So it's not like he sitting there like, how did he die? No, he's like, oh, no, Piccolo's dead. Hey, Piccolo's dead. I, I saw. Great, here's his dead body. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Goku. I mean, I don't care Stop who you shame. are. You put a corpse in front of somebody, it's usually not a pleasant thing, even if you did see them die. Also, the fact that it's just like – literally, it's the same race. Like, it's just like, good yeah. God. Also, they look very similar. I mean, that's... I mean, he's the closest thing to, I guess you could say, family or kin on Earth. Yes. Dende, at least, yes. you know? 
Mm-hmm. Also because well, of the fact that um, he was he loved Nail. Like Dende right. and Nail were yeah. their best friends. That too. Yeah. So even though it's Piccolo, he still always sees a bit of Nail. Oh yeah. I mean, and I'm sure for Popo too. Popo was just sitting there, just like, like call me. No. Call me dead in front of me. How many times now? Oh God. <laughs> it's it's just terrible because literally it's just Go Ten and Trunks were just like Piccolo. Dende was like, no. Popo was like, call me. Goten and Trugs. I don't know who those are. They're like, it's story time. The most depressing Ouch. story time ever. You know, was YouTube beaten to was? within an inch of his life by Frieza. And Kami had to give up his, had to uh, fought with his own, you know, with his own alter ego and split himself in half. And then he had to refuse with them to fight the androids. And then he almost died fighting them. And then Cell blew him up. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think it's just like, oh, it's just like, oh, God. Popo, just, hey, children, do you know how you two fuse and eventually you separate? Yeah. Imagine if you never did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but then we'd be go tanks. No, one of you would be dominant. <laughs> there will only be one. Oh, shit. Oh. Seriously though, imagine that, like literally, just like I'm Goten with the power of Trunks, but only Goten. Yeah, like that would be horrifying in a way. Now I know that three of them are always in a way together, I guess, but like clearly mm. Piccolo is Piccolo at this point. Like they, not they didn't want to make a reference to fucking nail, right? Yeah. You know, it's like you have Freeze in front of you, and it's like nah, I'm still I'm just Piccolo. Yeah, but um, yeah. So one thing I want to mention, um, let's see. Oh, I love that Frieza actually cares about Ginyu. Like I always thought he was annoyed at him and just wouldn't have cared if he died or not. But it, like he right. does, he does care. So in a weird way, it's kind of sweet. Well, I think it's in a weird way. It's like, I guess looking at his army, it's like, oh, somebody else mm-hmm. who survived like me or has come back like me. No, but the way he, the way, I don't know, the way I read it and the way it looked to me, he was kind of just like, oh, you survived the battle. I did. Like, oh, that's wonderful. Not like, oh, you're pathetic, you know, you're such a, well, like you're a loser yeah. because you lost the fight. No, literally, I feel like, in my opinion, Frieza would be like, you are a loser because you did not right. bring me the head yeah. of Son Goku and he killed me. No, it's really like, oh my goodness, an old friend, how you doing? Doing well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Oh, yeah, doing no, well. I mean, I'm, I'm so too. I thought for sure Frieza was going to go mm. off on him. Like, you know, what do I need you for? You lost to him the last time. Get out of here. Yeah, no, that's what I thought was going to happen. He was just going to kill him on the spot. And it was just like, no, yeah. we needed some time to fight. So Frieza's, not only because of that, but like we need that time. And so Frieza, you know, sees him and it's literally like an old friend. And I'm like, that's mm. so sweet. Like, even when, um, even when what's his name died, the small one, a parf- um, Parfait? No. No. Sorbet. Par- okay. Like, parfait? Creme boulet? No, sorbet. Okay. So when sorbet died, um, when sorbet Fruit died, salad. it, um, basically, uh, <laughs> yeah, so when sorbet died, even then his look was like, not another one, right? Like, as if, like, he actually sits there and he goes, hey, my army is not expendable. I mean, other than kiwi, but I fucking hated kiwi. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's more of Frieza looks over like, hey, that one's mine. I can kill them, but it's okay because they're mine. When you kill them, that's not okay. That would be nice. Thank you, Frieza. Wait a minute. Who told you to talk? Shoot yeah. them down. Death beam. <laughs> but but uh, way too much death oh. beam, by the way. What? Way too much like overuse of the death beam. Yeah, well, I mean, that is kind of his specialty move. I no, mean, no, no, no. Let's, it just is, be, but it, like, let's just be happy he didn't use, uh, you know, <laughs> just shut <shudder> the disc. <clears throat> right, yes, of course. Um, but, uh, but no, yeah, I, I <laughs> really didn't. It's okay. Oh, one thing I want to mention is that um, I love the DBZ-esque violence in this, and I know it's like, well, Matt, what are we watching? No, but what I mean is, I, I mean in the sense that, like, Gohan is literally getting holes blown in him, and he's just a okay. Well, I mean, no. It like, hurt. What I mean is, he was a lot. It hurt, but he was he was standing. He wasn't like, oh no, these holes. Like he got a lot of fucking holes put in him. Like, I mean, I don't yeah. Know, like, 
No, but like I'm saying, that's something that I noticed with these arcs, in my opinion, is that, like, the films um, feel like each movie is bringing elements from the different anime series and adapting them. What I mean by that is, like, right. the first was Dragon Ball. Yeah, and you mm. can tell. Like, you know, Battle of Gods felt like a Dragon Ball thing with all the humor. This right. one, cl- cl- bleh, clearly bringing in Frieza, was Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. You know? So all I have to say is, I don't know what the next one's going to be, but, oh, God, no. Right. Mm-hmm. Not, not the third one. <laughs> the, not the, the one, one that doesn't TV exist. TV. Right? Well, it really doesn't anymore. There was a point when I thought they could coexist, but it's gotten to the point where it's just like, no, Goku's – like, even if Goku got, got turned into a kid, he'd just become Jesus. He's not a god anymore. He's just Jesus now. Right. Like, like I don't think he would have lost everything in that way. And then, again, when he came back from being a kid, he would have just been a god. So I'm pretty sure <laughs> this is completely throwing away completely, which yeah. you and I have no problem with at all. No. Nah, Literally really. fucking none. Um anyway, so moving on. Oh, I love just Goku talking about Frieza. Do you mean that Frieza? No. All the other Frieza's in the universe. Yeah, no, definitely not the one that killed your best friend and nearly, you know, killed your son and your other best friend. An entire planet and threaten to kill your family on your planet and your planet. No, not that Speaking one. of, no, not that one. Speaking of killing people, so Vegeta killed Ginyu. That, <laughs> oh, no, yeah. he killed him like Ginyu was starring in Jace, the sequel. Like fucking oh, went God, right up yeah. to him. Do you remember yeah. how he killed Jace? It was just oh yeah, right up to him. Boom. This time, same idea, same mentality, just goes right up to Ginyu. Do you know how oh. Chase died? I wasn't a whip. Oh. <laughs> then let me show you. <laughs> yeah. Ask him when it you was, see yeah. him in hell. Frieza, see, let I mean, me tell you about hell one more time. Literally tells <sighs> everyone he knows about hell. Like, I gotta be honest, man. Hell sucks. Yeah. I know, I know it's... Look... I understand my opinion might be a fringe one. It might be different, but I want you all know, hell sucks. Okay? Like, wow, Frieza, great analysis. Yeah, I love how he basically, yeah, he had that flashback so many times. It's like, you have no idea the torment I went through with cuddly little (laughs) teddy bears and giving me parades and musicals and fairy hugs. My God. Like, huh. Oh man! Um, oh, um, although yeah, so I that, would say what? with uh, Vegeta blowing up Ginyu, it's like mm. I'm surprised Vegeta didn't start to lose his cool more than he did. It's like so the tyrant responsible from taking away everything that was supposed to be yours and basically torturing you and killed you. Yeah, he's back again. I yeah, figured Vegeta I think basically movie, would have looked Goku in the face and said, no, he's mine. Shut up. I'm killing him. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm sorry. I'm freaking out because literally in the background right now, Little Trunks is like, if Frieza comes back to life, we're going to kill him and I'm going to cut him in half. And it's like, uh, oh, no, you don't yeah. know. You don't well, know. Everyone start everyone starts laughing. I was gonna bring that up later on, but yeah. Yeah, that's the thing oh that happened. Oh my god. Yeah. That was hysterical. Uh, oh, by the way, that even the first time it happened, it was hysterical. Just the first time Freeze is just like, He looks so familiar. I can't Yeah. On the tip of my tongue he cut me in half. <laughs> <laughs> just literally <laughs> just he, he looks, looks like so the guy kid. who cut me in half. Yeah. Oh, my God. Just literally just... And it's funny, too, because he doesn't know about time travel at all. Like, Frieza was right. not around for any of that. So to him, it's just, nope. like, maybe a descendant or something? I don't know. Yeah. But, like, it's great. I would just love it if head. Vegeta looked at him. It's like, that was my son. This is my son. You have two sons? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're not going to be alive long enough for me to explain it to you to make sense. So you know what? Just eat this. My God, um, I just love that he looked at Goten. He was just like, "Yeah, that's another one." <laughs> yeah, that's another Goku. 
No, because he, he looked at <laughs> Gohan. He was just like, oh, you're the one that tried to hurt me last time, and I think you're also his kid, because I remember last time you mentioning that that was your son. But right. this one, it just looks at him. Yeah, that's Goku. Just like, let's even, say that's him. I, yeah, how he even goes into, you know, he even falls into his old, you know, monkey slurs with, you know, the sayings. Oh, it's God. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's just it's true. Yeah, like he that even got Goku pissed at one point. Goku was just like, "I'm gonna kill you based on that one slur alone." <laughs> Everything else so far has been bad, but literally, man, like now of all time, tired of your shit. <laughs> yeah, no, it just no because one of those things was just like you know I think for most of the time he hadn't called him anything, so it's like one mm-hmm. of those things where you're like. You know, I stopped hanging out with you, Frieza. I forgot why. I also did too, you stupid Saiyan monkey. That's why you're a racist. That's why. <laughs> That's what it was. You know, just like those old friends from high school. You're like, I forgot. I stopped hanging out with you. Why did I? Why did I stop? Do they talk for five minutes? You're like, right. Yeah. I remember now. But um, but anyway, jumping back in. Um. Yeah, I I want to mention because you already talked about Goku's you know form. Um, we talked about the filler being a little awkward, like Vegeta sarcastic clapping, which I loved it, but I think it was a bit too long. Yeah, I or, think they drew yeah. it out a little bit too long. Yeah. But like even Freeze is like, all right, it's getting annoying now. Stop. Yes, even um, where they froze both Goku and Frieza to have a monologue in that one position where they're literally like holding each other, sort of. Yeah. Like the like the tail leg thing. Yeah. It's like this is yeah. this is where you froze them. Really? Well, because really? it's like yeah, Goku's like you know usually I'd be excited for the fight at this point, but now you're starting to piss me off. It's like yeah, because you know it's you, and he's like, of course I am. It's me. Yeah. And then he's like, oh. you know your your little anger spout is nothing to the fury that I have for you. It's like, huh? And yet neither of you are trying to end this fight anytime soon. By the like, way, juxtaposing um, Whis yeah. and and Beerus eating next to Goku getting his ass kicked was amazing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dinner it and was a show. So beautifully done. What? Dinner and a show. Yes, dinner and a show. Um, I mean, they were kind of yeah. on looking like, huh? I wonder if he's gotten any better. Nope, getting his ass kicked. Mm, maybe all that training wasn't worth it. Yeah. Uh, I have to admit, though, I do think that um, he was really, like, they do see that he got better. It's just the problem is that, again, he had his problem with, you know, needing to fucking focus. Also, by the way, I want to mention, um, so, you know, in the movie, I think there was a bit more of a subplot dedicated to Vegeta potentially being able to get revenge because he got that yeah. nice monologue. He didn't get that here, which I guess I'd rather it be cut because if they're still going to keep Goku as the one destroying Beer, uh, Beerus, Beerus is so pissed right now. It's like, <laughs> Goku destroying Beerus. Sorry, he's so pissed on my screen right now. Um, he missed. But no, it's like Goku he destroying Beerus. He misses Frieza completely Frieza. and he hits Beerus. <laughs> oh, my God. With the God Gun. Why would you hit me with the God Gun? Uh, Whis just starts, like, hyperventilating, like, oh, no. Oh, oh no! It's like waste, please. Anything, my lord. Pizza. Just oh my god. But anyway, um, I uh, talking about Frieza though, right? So you know, with Goku killing Frieza, I would have preferred, and I'm happy they did, sort of remove that Vegeta subplot because I think it was just really jarring to me in the movie, where it's just like you know, it's like he'll get his revenge for what Frieza did to him and his planet and his race. Long live. Wait, what? No, Goku. Damn it, because Vegeta fucked everything up and let him die, right? It's like, oh, uh, come on, guys. I mean, to be fair... Like, really, what? Well, okay. I mean, I you you might want to finish your thought, because the thought I have about the whole fight between Frieza and Goku and Vegeta is kind of a big one. Okay, no, you can, you can talk. Please. All right. Um... I like I know why the characters have developed in the way that they have, specifically talking about Goku and Vegeta, and mm. they've even brought it up with Whis telling them, like, you know, oh, Vegeta, you've 
I mean, I guess he hasn't really said it, but you can see it over the time of the series. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it, it's Vegeta's seen enough combat, and he's seen that enough times that oh, if I boast about my own power, I get my ass handed to me. Like he's he's mm-hmm. stopped doing that, you know. And it's not mm-hmm. that I feel like it's not coming from the f- fact that he like he just doesn't enjoy battle anymore like he used to. I don't think it's that mm-hmm. at all because I mean he blew Ginyu away, and when he had his turn at Frieza, he didn't pull anything, and. I'm sorry, I felt that was really refreshing after that whole tussle between Goku and Frieza, like, oh, I'm going to finish you. No, I'm going to finish you. But no, I want this to be sporting. I want to have fun with my revenge. Yeah, I want to test out my powers because fighting, you know, to protect my planet and my family is second to having fun. Uh, I mean, yeah, really well, here's the kind thing. of pissed here's, me off. Well, two things. One... I think over the years, as you've mentioned, you know, uh, as you mentioned a bit, yes, over the years, they definitely have been making us understand, like, you know, with every new form, Goku gets even cockier. And that needs to be toned down because it's a huge issue now. And it clearly got him shot. (laughs) That's the other side of the coin where Goku is Mm -hmm. now, you know, he's won all these fights and he is still getting more powerful. Granted, Mm -hmm. he still does make it a point that he's like, no, I worked hard for this. Like, it, it well, didn't not, come easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, no, and that's not important. That it, yes. Well, no, it's not about that necessarily, though that's accurate. It's just the fact that you can tell. Like, Super Saiyan, he became cocky. Super Saiyan 2, I think he became cocky in his son. Like, his confidence in his son was so much. And even Super Saiyan 2, he was just like, or at least on the peak of Super Saiyan 2, he was like, yeah, no, my son can do this. No problem. Then with Majin Buu, Super Saiyan 3, he was majorly cocky, just like, you know, literally, like, I mean, I know he tried to waste time um, because he had to, but seriously, he was just there, like, Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, and this, right? And it was just, like, yeah. clearly him showing off. Um, same thing I mean, with, um, like, overall, I just feel like with each and every fight, it's more and more like, I'll spare you your life because I could take it right now. You know? Like, he's been, he's definitely gotten... Um, like a bit more confident and again on the verge of cocky as each fight goes on where it's not just like a yuck kind of thing it's more like no I can kill you if I wanted to so that's why you get to live today you know yeah. like I'm sparing I mean, your life like it's, I just I mean, feel it's, like yeah. in in the original series from I mean it's all technically Dragon Ball but if we want to break mm-hmm. it down for English wise in Dragon Ball Z there was a sense that Goku never lost the idea that the situation was severe. Mm-hmm. Like, even with Fair all enough. those fights, you know, there was still a sense of urgency, a sense of, you know, severity to the situation. Mm-hmm. That it's like, yes, this is a fight that's very important. You know, someone's life is on the line, or the planet's, you know, existence is on the line. Whereas now it's gotten to the point he's like, Oh, I know I well, I mean, yeah, I can save the planet. I really I don't have anyone to test out these powers on. I think that's really what it is. The fact that he has no one at his level. Or that mixed in with the fact that I know like in Battle of Gods there was a little bit of playfulness, but he was also obviously scared. He really was yeah. of the planet being destroyed. Because Beerus right. was a new villain. I think maybe yeah. him seeing Frieza again was like, Hey, it's like an old friend who I want to murder. Yeah. You know? So, like, just playful sparring in a way, because it's like, oh, it's, you know... Like, I think if he had to fight a brand new guy, it might yeah. not be as much. That's, now, it'd be that's like... That's definitely what? a part yeah. of it. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, he might be like, wow, you know? Because even in the movies, I think the movies is really where you see a lot of that. Wow, you're really powerful. Like, earlier movies, too. Yeah. Like, I know I don't want to say the earth, but I got to mention, powerful you are. You know, so you yeah. Florida. Um, but that yeah. was always like the second, like the secondary. Yeah. Like it was like, Fair no, I need, I need to put you down. You know, if I don't put you down right here and now, the earth is going to be destroyed. But like, yeah. even when he said with Boo, it's like, it's too bad you were evil. You know, you would have made a great sparring partner. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. I have to blow you up now. See you later. You know, right. and yes. he gets the wish to bring him back as well. I mean, I don't know if that's going to be a thing now. That's still in the air, I guess. Yeah. Um, 
it's definitely interesting to where this is going to go, right? Because, yeah. you know, we had everything play out the way that it did. They they even did the time travel thing. Um, and, you know, now we have, we have uh, you know, Jocko or Jacko in their universe, right? Yeah. Just like we did in the movies. We now have the introduction of another universe. But right. it, isn't, it isn't a thing where, like, it's not just the same Beerus. Because if it was the same Beerus, but from Universe 6, I'd be like, that's the movie universe or something like that, right? right? But clearly that's not what we got. We got a completely di- we got Champa, who's a completely different god of destruction from a different yeah. universe that um people who are watching weekly might know, but if you're, you know, trying to catch up or something, um we're not going to spoil it here because frankly, I don't even know what's what's right. the deal. Um yeah. but definitely I know that you and I are going to have to watch some more and catch up with that real soon because now I'm hyped. You know, it's funny. I was not yeah. hyped because I, I was hyped in the series when it first began, Dragon Ball Super. Then right. they went into Battle of Gods, and it, they made sure to dehype me. Just please, Matt, go to bed for a bit. And yeah. you know, and then we did. <laughs> We're Battle still of working Gods on and, the new story. Go to bed for a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then we did. We did the podcast for the Battle of Gods saga in two parts, right? right? Yeah. And then after that, you know, we were watching, um, you know, a few episodes. Technically, night. Technically. The uh, episodes that we did before this one, like 15, 16, 17, I think even, yeah, 15, 16, 17, and 18, technically they're part of the Resurrection of F Saga too, but with, you know what I mean? Like they didn't really reference it too much, but technically they're a part of it uh, according to online sources. Right. But still, we did those separately because we thought they were a nice like gap in between yeah. the two movies. And that was the one where we got to see Champa and I don't know her name, but basically the equivalent of Whis for that yeah. universe. And it's just very interesting because I wonder, like, what they're going to do here. Because, again, it's not like, oh, it's a different section of planets, like the Kais. No, you're coming from a different universe. Yeah. You know? Like, what does this entail? Shit's going down. So I really do wonder what's going to happen there. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I hope – it looks like things are going to get, you know, going to get really interesting from here. We have Gohan getting trained again. Um, right. And we oh, have. Bottom. What? That's what her. That's what her name is. Okay, thank you. And yeah, I really just do wonder where we're going from here because I mean we have an entire. Um, what's it called? We have you know we, obviously are probably going to get another movie, right? Because Resurrection of F did well both in America and yeah. in, in Japan. So, right. I wonder how it's going to be incorporated into this. You know, it's like will it be on its own? while Super is running and then Super will then adapt the movie as well. Like, how is it going to work? You know, I'm very intrigued. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I yeah, think it's, it's be... definitely got a lot of uh, potential to pick up and go in a lot of different directions now that we've finally gotten past the movies. Yes. Only thing that I hope is that um, they don't make a movie trying to adapt what's in the show. Yeah. Because then that's just getting a little silly at this point. Yes. However, I would like them to look at what's going on in the show and be like, okay, we'll start it from, let's say, episode... God damn it, Yamcha's in the ending. What the fuck <laughs> is Yamcha in the ending song? God damn it. Anyway, um, I assume that... Sorry, it makes me mad. I, I can't believe I didn't put that in my notes. I was just like, you're in the ending yeah. song. New ending song, by the way. Yes. So did you know I've this? actually I enjoyed... I've enjoyed the ending song. Yeah, but didn't it go back and forth for you? Because it did for me. Like, as I'm watching the episodes, it went from the new ending to the old ending. Um, I don't think I had that, no. Okay, so then maybe it was just for me because uh, maybe, I don't know, I was might have been watching some episodes that maybe, I don't know, in a re-airing played the older ending or something. Because they did the yeah, older ending maybe. for a while. Then they jumped into the new ending. And I was like, that's great. Then for like two, three episodes, they went to the older ending. And I was like, what? Mm. What's this? I was thrown off. Anyway, they they jumped back, though, recently. Anyway, um, yeah, so, I mean, here we are. We're at the end of our show. And I really yeah. can't wait for the future. Because, yeah. you know, there's a lot of, I mean, there's really a lot of cool, you know, places this can go. Obviously, you know, we are a bit behind. But again, you know, next time we'll be doing another eight or so episodes. Yeah. And yeah. So anything you want to say before we wrap everything up? Um, I don't know. I guess 
I, I hinted at it before. Like, I know why Goku and Vegeta's character have kind of gone in the directions that they have, but I don't know. It just kind of makes me feel sad that Goku's kind of got this cockiness going on, and it's really, yeah. really screwing him over. And it's like, yeah. that's that's the whole reason. Like, I like everybody's character for who they were, but that's who Vegeta was for me throughout the other series. Like, especially when they fought Cell. It's like, yeah, his overconfidence and his love of his own power let Cell achieve his final form, and then he got his ass handed to him. Mm-hmm. But Vegeta's the character that I expected that from. And to right. see him come as far as far as he's gotten from there, I really love how his character is developed, you know? Like, when he went after Frieza, he's like, huh, no, you know, he gave the reason I'm not as kind-hearted as, as him, but it's also like, I'm also not as gullible as him. I'm yeah. not going to give you the chance to, you know, fire at the crowd like you did with Goku, with, you know, Krillin and Gohan and Bulma. It's like, no, I'm going to beat you senseless. And just Vegeta's punches when he hit him just really felt good. I don't know. It made me feel something like, oh, yeah, those punches, those hits actually connected and did something. I can see Frieza, you know, the stupid smug look look wiped off his face for once. You know, for me, it just started to get irritating with him and Goku just going back and forth like I'm testing my powers and, you know, I'm having fun with my revenge. Even Vegeta comes in and says, look. Stop if it. you two don't start finishing this right now, I'm going to come in here and kick both of your asses. <laughs> and I'm yeah, like, which felt weird Please when do he it. basically said, yeah, it felt weird, I think, when he said, like, hey, you know, I don't want to wait, but I mean, I'll wait. I was like, yeah. great filler, guys. Yeah. I mean, um, I just, what I, will say, I really hope that Goku kind of gets out of this funk because yes. this is not. Like, I used to expect it from Vegeta. So when he did something like that, I was like, all right, you know, I hate him for it, but that's Vegeta's character. It's like, when I look at Goku, I don't expect him to pull this kind of, to be honest, stupid shit. You know, it's like, dude, your family's on the line. Stop screwing around. You know? Yeah, no, I, um, yeah, I'll, I'll say it like this, right? Um, I think in the movie, because it was just a movie, it turned like to uh, to you and I, or at least I think it may have felt like this. It may have felt a bit more, a little bit of that, of course, because that was the plot, um, you know, of the movie. But it also turned into a bit more of like, oh, he can't just go God immediately, the same way that Frieza can't go Golden, because right. that's the way the movies work. You know, it's like yeah. any movie works. You know, the climax is around the end. Um, but right. because of it being a show and being extended so much it did come off a little awkward because, you know, it came off with a lot of, oh, you know, I'm going to wait for you. I'm going to wait for you. And then a lot of the stuff where you're sitting there and you're just like, no, kill him now. Right. And I, and I will admit to another thing, um, you know, the lesson is supposed to be, oh, stop screwing around. Right. Right. So I assume yeah, that's I, the I, I that understand Goku like that's supposed to be the no, lesson no, no, no. for Goku. No, no, no. So I hope today I'm pretty sure like he's he's learned it from this movie, from this arc. Yeah. And I'm hoping that's what's gonna be. However, what it feels like the lesson that it feels like he learned was to never let Vegeta fight, am I right? <laughs> the earth. Just... Yeah. Well that's the other Don't thing. Like, yeah. I don't feel as I don't know, weird about Vegeta getting duped. Uh, for a lack of a better phrase, but like, that's the kind of thing like, you know, there's nothing he could have done. There's no way he could yeah, have predicted. Course. I mean, to be fair, Frieza did it on Namek, so technically, yes, they. I mean, Vegeta didn't see that part of the fight, but it's like, technically, yes, you guys should have seen that coming. But like, that sort of thing is like, oh shit, right? He can live in space. Of course, he's going to try and you know blow up the planet. That's kind of like an afterthought. Mm. You know, kind of thing. Head, though, so I it's like, it if he coming. does it right away, it's like, ah, mm-hmm. shit. You know, you know but, I can see it coming, but in my head, though, and I, I don't know if it came up to you as we wrap things up, it, it, we see it coming like, in a, oh, no, he's going to throw a big giant ball of death. Not, did you know that I can put my energy just straight into Yeah. Because, like, I've never thought of someone putting their energy into the ground to make it explode. Yeah, never exactly. thought about that. Because like, Vegeta was, that was ready to finish yeah. him off. 
You know, he's mm-hmm. right there. It's not like he was dicking around or anything. I mean, you know, he said, you know, he was saying a little bit of dialogue, but it's not like with Goku, like, you know, don't get up again, you know, that kind of thing. It's like, no, I know he's evil. I know what he's capable of. I know he's going to try and pull something. I'm ending this now. Yes. And All right. So, yeah. yeah. I understand. It's so, okay. I hope I'll hug you later. That, that's kind of... Fanboy. It's okay. Shut it's up. Fan, it's the, dude, dude, dude. It happened to me, too. It's okay. Just the nerd rage. Yeah. It's okay. Um, and I just feel well, like with Goku, how he got his ass kicked the entire fight, and then he's like, oh, haha, I figured out the weakness to your form. You're running out of power, and now I can beat you. It's like, Goku, you even said it yourself. He was more powerful than you, apparently. And that was another difference from the movie. I thought it was rather like they were more equal, and apparently here in the series that Frieza has the edge. It's kind of like, oh, okay. It's like, why did you wait so long for him to beat the tar out of you and then be like, oh, no, now I can beat you. It's like, he could have killed you a million times over if he had really wanted to, and yet Let you the waited. Let rage flow yeah. through you. That, that, that's it. That's it. I'm done. I'm stepping off the soapbox. I'm throwing it away now. <laughs> I yeah. love it. Just throwing away the soapbox. I'm packing well, up. All right. Good night, everybody. Soapboxes. <laughs> That brings out the seven magic soap boxes that brings out the eternal fanboy. Um, the eternal anyway, nerd so rage? The eternal, no, it's the eternal fanboy. It's just three specific wishes that only, <laughs> that make sure to get them in detail. One detail wrong, and I will not grant your wish. <laughs> God. So when Goku okay. died early on in the cell arc, it was later. Wish denied. <laughs> Anyway, um, but seriously, though, um, no, I, I believe me, I understand the problems. And also, uh, what I do want to say is, because you keep on bringing points up, um, I do feel like the, okay, the reason why he knew, he knew he couldn't kill him outright. So it's just, there's going to be an opening. There's always an opening. And then the opening was, oh, damn, fighting him for this long, actually, like, he can't sustain that. Right. Uh, because he knew somewhere there's going to be an opening. And it's going to be like, yeah. got him. So he was just I fighting mean, him to find an opening. I think I think it just has to do with the fact that it was in the movie. It felt like it yes. felt less dragged out, and it's like okay, that weakness makes sense. And it's like I like that idea that Frieza doesn't think of that because he's never had to train before. And it's like oh yeah, of course he wouldn't think. Huh? I wonder if I can Damn sustain enough. this form. No, I'll kill the monkey before it gets to that point. Don't worry, Frieza, you've got this. Mm hmm. Exactly. You know, like, well, of course, that's how he would fall because he's arrogant and overconfident and he's the villain. I expect him to do that. Exactly. <laughs> We're going to have yeah. to end things here. I'm going to have to console yeah. you. So, okay. have a good night, everyone. I'm just going to mention that we have our merchandise on cafepress.com slash TGOTR merchandise and screened, S K R E N E D dot com slash TGP merchandise. Merchandise on both of those websites, completely different, by the way. So, you're not going to have the same merchandise on both. And uh, they are both for our um, both for our podcast, which is obviously listening to it right now. Those guys on the radio, and for our let's plays, those guys play on those guys on the radio podcast. You know, we do a multitude of things, as I'm sure you've heard. And if not, then go check us out on our website, which is those guys on the radio Our Facebook, which is slash those guys on the radio. Our Twitter, which is at those guys radio, and our Instagram, which is slash those guys on the radio. Also, we're on iTunes as well, so find us there by searching up those guys or those guys on the radio or those guys radio. We're also on YouTube by searching up those guys on the radio and mentioning our Let's Plays that are on YouTube by searching up those guys play. You'll find our Let's Play channel and our TG Productions channel where you can find TG News and many other you know, things that we've done um, or that are coming up rather. And uh, TG News, by the way, is a very nerd news show where we have jokes quote unquote funny quote unquote huh. jokes and uh, I mean Tristan's been on so Yay. that's nice I believe we have your episode out and if we don't yet we'll get that out soon and <laughs> um, yeah that's that so you know, just want to thank you all for listening in and I think you've abused your privilege of do you have anything to say <laughs> <laughs> so up. I'm going to say so I'm going to say good night and you'll say whatever you want to say that is like good night either okay. good night or anything else so, All good right. night, everybody. Well, I have this one other... No, good night, everybody. <laughs>
<laughs> I was waiting for you to do that. All right. Good night, everyone. <laughs>